Even for a country like ours, well familiar with drought, the dry spell right now in Queensland and New South Wales is one of the worst in our history. It's a bit of a beast really, it attacks you from all angles. So um, the drought will affect your animals, uh, it'll affect your household, you know, um, your, your mental health, uh, and that's for the whole family. If you're tired and worn out for a long period of time, eventually there's every chance you're going to fall into a depressed state. At the peak of the drought, you sort of actually go into a bit of a zombie mode. It's pretty well the same thing every day. You get up knowing that your job today is going to be keeping cattle alive. That's your number one concern, to keep your animals alive, basically. You can't take a break during drought. It's, it, I don't know what else to say. You just can't. You, you're there to, if you take a break during drought, your animals suffer. So, no, you can't take a, a break during drought. It's not only our domestic stock that, that suffer, it's certainly also the wildlife, and we care for them as well. My name's Zara King, I'm 16 years old, and I'm from Tullabajil, New South Wales. Oh God, here they all come. You can see how skinny they are. I was about 11 years old when I got my first little camera. It was one of those cheap little digital cameras. I asked for a drone for Christmas this year. We've been hand feeding the stock for about six months now. People see the green, they go, oh, that's not a drought. It's like, do you think animals can pick little bits of grass like that long off? No, they can't. There's nothing in the, like, there's no nutrients or anything in the grass and that, so that's why we've got to feed them hay. You just, you just do everything in your, in your, what you possibly can to keep them alive. Just because, you, you just, you, you feel guilty. There's not, you've got to help them. It's just, you, you feel guilty when you've lost it because you feel like you could have done more, but in reality, you just, you couldn't, I guess. Nearly out of hay, we used to have about 500 bales, now we're down to about 30. When we have to start buying hay soon, it's going to cost so much money. 